after, let's cut across to Kritika Saxena, who is in conversation with Sajan Jindal of JSW Steel. You said he's uh, gradually now upping the game, trying to attract investments. But uh, specifically on Rajasthan, do you believe that uh, the state has done enough to be able to increase the ease of doing business, uh, ease of setting up business, and uh, ease of simplifying uh, taxation uh, uh, norms over here? As I said, uh, you know, every state is trying to woo investors to come and invest in their states. Uh, which is a very positive thing and very welcome, very welcome sign for industries to to get uh, you know uh, com com competing states to attract industries. So it's it's a very good thing. Uh, Rajasthan has done quite well uh, to uh, to do this uh, 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 research in Rajasthan to attract investors. Uh, I mean, uh, the Chief Minister Vasundhara Rajji ji is very proactive and very dynamic, and she's. Uh, she's been always, even in her uh, earlier uh, uh, regime, she was very, very aggressive to, in, to attract investment. That is when we, we invested big time in, in the power plant in Rajasthan as just energy. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's, it's a, uh, I think it's a good thing to, to happen to the in, uh, state as well as to the industries. Okay. So in terms of expansion specifically, are you committing a larger amount of investment for Rajasthan? And over and above Rajasthan, uh, have you identified specific areas that you are looking at uh, capital expenditure in? If yes, how much? Well, at the moment, we are not really uh, committing any new investments in the state of Rajasthan, but uh, we already have large investments here. Um, because uh, right now we are trying to consolidate the industry and there are a lot of stress assets in the country, which is what we are at the moment trying to take a look at. And our major uh, growth would be through uh, uh, inorganic uh, acquisitions and through so since you said that, so what specifically? Because uh, GSW Energy, GSW Steel has been very active, specifically from an energy point of view, has been very active in terms of expansion. But specifically, what is the kind of inorganic growth that you're looking at? Specific areas that you can now look at? And uh, what stressed assets make sense at this point, given that there already is a heavy debt burden for steel and power companies? Yeah, so that, that throws in a lot of uh, good opportunities because uh, there is a huge stress uh, in, in both these sectors, uh, steel as well as power. And, uh, and we are fortunately better placed to, to evaluate and to look at uh, various opportunities to, to acquire these assets. So therefore, uh, we are uh, very consciously and very carefully uh, looking at various opportunities. Uh, I cannot uh, tell you any specific uh, uh, targets right now, mm -hmm. but we are looking at the various opportunities and as and when that happens, we will, uh, you will be uh, first to know about it. Okay. The government is of course trying to simplify ease of doing business, simplify policy regimes, but uh, as far as the steel and uh, air mining sector is concerned, uh, from uh, dumping, from import issues, several issues are there in the near term. What are the issues that you would be wary of and what are you expecting to see uh, smoothened? Well, uh, steel industry is suffering globally from uh, huge overcapacity in China and uh, very large dumping of uh, steel across China, across the world and uh, India is also not spared from that point of view. Mm. Though the uh, government of India is uh, quite, uh, uh, they are aware of this and have taken uh, some action uh, which, which uh, has not yet yielded as much result as the industry was expecting. Mm. So, uh, so now we are uh, again uh, taking it up with the government and we are pushing very hard mm. with the government to see that the uh, steel industry, which is a very basic industry for our country, which needs to be protected because if we have to grow steel industry, then steel industry must be profitable. Mm. Today, uh, steel industry is not profitable and uh, therefore there is no real expansion in the steel industry happening. So the government also understands that and uh, they are very keen that uh, the dumping from China which is happening must must get stopped so we are we are also working with the government to come in with the anti-dumping or safeguard duties on every product in, in, across the steel basket okay and lastly uh, uh, the upcoming mining auctions are several areas that still need to be smoother in terms of a policy and regulatory framework but uh, how bullish are you that there would be transparency maintained and from GSW's point of view how how active would you be in the mining auction? Well, uh, you know, this government, as in uh, when it came last year in 2014 May, uh, they, 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 one of the first bills that they passed was the uh, mining bill, and uh, I was very happy that 
this government sincerely wants uh, business and transparency in business and therefore they uh, quickly uh, brought in this this amendment to the MMDR bill now the iron ore mines are going to get auctioned in Karnataka in Urissa in Charkhan and uh, and it's a very welcome sign and GSW steel is uh, uh, is fully fully prepared. It has fully prepared itself to participate in these auctions, especially in Karnataka, because that is where our main street plant is. But also, we will uh, look at uh, acquiring uh, iron ore mines also in Urissa, which can feed our Maharashtra plant. So, uh, so we are very keen, uh, and we are very, very keenly awaiting this or these auctions to happen. And uh, my information is that before March, a few mines will come up in Karnataka and also in Odisha. Any capex for uh, this, or would it be too premature? Um, yeah, I mean, whatever it will call for, we will, we will be doing it because it's very critical for us to have our own uh, captive mines. Right, sir, thank you so much. Well, that was uh, Sajan Jindal speaking at the resurgent Rajasthan summit. That's. Uh,